you guys doing an end of day recap nice another nice day for everyone that's been short risk so being short uh you know high beta tech being short the overall market via spy puts a lot of you've been short um s p futures with me being long vol being long vix futures being long uvxy both calls um and on the future side also coming out of long bonds today still going home course short which we've been for a while so just stay with the game plan i'll give you a little update on what i think for the euro some of you sold that today it might be a little bit long dollars and, and short euro which is good that's still the right core that's still the right play on the short side um let's just start with the vix i mean i guess if we talk the vix you get to talk s and p's and so we've had this call coming into the end of last week that the, the pivot that really mattered here was this 2640 area and so when you look at, <clears throat> cyclically speaking, we were pretty low. Each time the markets got down to both low on the stochastic and low as far as a um, empirical count, which is 8.6 frequency, if you just count out the days, we've had a good cycle. There's been a good rhythm here. And so this last cycle down, we started a new count here at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And on an 8 count here, we said the key is to really watch this 8 day here. Can we get above the 8? Can you get above this high at 26.88? And we couldn't get above it. We took out the prior candles low, which is a swing line sell setup in our model. And, and the cycle had not crossed last week. But we said from a trend perspective, this was this was the key. It was this prior support we highlighted to sell this area on the way back up towards it. And then that was it. Couldn't get above there. Another lower low. It's been nothing but lower highs and lower lows. So today was another short covering opportunity. Um, and these are some major, major levels on a weekly, monthly basis. We're back to the February lows. We pretty much went right through this little support from April. So this could be nasty. You could wake up in the morning and you could see serious gap down. This is when you start to break the weekly levels, this is where you get crashes. So there's a lot of risk for the bulls on the long side in here. All right. So do not be, we've been short. This is a short covering opportunity into these lows. I want to stay in that short if we go through it and break. All right, so we're expressing that via still long, um, being short futures here on a bounce tonight, being still long SPY or like if you're still still long XLK puts, not not long SPY, I mean long puts on SPY. Um, but I did cover a lot here today. But the point is to stay net short. Now you can also be net short the market or risk off by being long bonds, which we we've been and then long the VIX is a great way to kind of play s p so today i sold a little bit here towards the high of the move and then i actually covered on this first dip and the reason i didn't just let the s p's run is because i had puts on the etfs and i was already long the vix you can see i had three entries uh took some off took some off bought some back so i was playing this move down as being long the vix so it's pretty much the same trade and then, of course, we're long like EVXY. We've had 70 strike calls for a while. And then we're short other areas in the market. You know, I've got Apple calls where we're short. We're short Tesla. Uh, we've had a, finally had a big day down. <laughs> this stock is like the only stock that trades like it's been trading like it's a safe haven. And today, I guess the market realized it, it's not safe. Finally. Um, so we like being long treasuries, rather be long the dollar. Uh, you can see here in S and P's. So we made nice sales up here. This was high within the cycle. Another nice sale here. Nice sale in futures here. And this was our drop today. Um, long bonds. We've been adding on dips. Came out a little bit today. I want to stay long. I think we're going to retest these highs from a couple weeks ago. We kind of pulled back with the uh, thirty-year auction, and then. Um, we got that out of the way last week, so we want to stay long 30s. I think that's pretty much it. Now, I said on the euro, we like being long dollars. Um, let's short the euro all year. And I think uh, 
we're kind of in the middle of the range. This four hour cycle is high, so I'm I'm going home short. We've kind of been fighting this on the short side today, um, but we failed right at pi here, so I sold a decent amount and cover a little bit into the close, and then we'll be watching this tonight. I like to take my risk down overnight, but I'm still going to stay core short. So that way, if we we do push back towards 114, you know, this is the better spot to be laying out more risk. So we're kind of in the middle of the 112, 114 range. But I do like this retracement back up the move from Friday. And this is a pretty good candidate for a lower high here at the band. So I'd stick with that. Maybe we watch it on Asia in the open. Um, if you guys are new, this is our trading floor. It's free to join this chat. Uh, and I've been teaching a lot of options lately. I want to show you guys where you can get my options course. This is This is where you can take... The global macro view or some of the basics of what we teach in the trading course and then when you start to put some option strategies around it um, it's just another way to express and take advantage of the opportunities in the market so we did a 5k there today uh, on the future side you know i could show some of you guys' results but being long the vix being long long bonds um so Really proud of a lot of you guys. Some of you doubled your account last month, which is just phenomenal. So you do that in the option side. Um, uh, I kind of went over crypto a little bit, but this is, if you go to JenkinsRM.com, that's that's my site. It's free to join in the chat room. If you click here, I'll send you over a River link. That's where we put all our real-time alerts into the desktop or the mobile. So you can, you can every trade that we're doing and the model spitting out, and then under trading services, we have, this is a great value, guys. It's, I charge 2000 bucks, 1990 for basically all our directional model and everything that has to do with our trend cycles and time model um, that we, that, that we um, instituted. And it's from 10 years of me trading U.S. Treasuries and ran rates desk. So this institutional model basically brought to independent trader or if you're a professional it's you know obviously the same price but and then on for just 500 bucks more um i teach you my option strategies where we do a lot with call ratio back spreads it's not just like hey what's a call what's a put this is actually how do i make money and how do i put it all together um how do you hedge your positions that's a big that's important too so that's all right here um other than that, guys, good day today. We'll see if we get some more follow-through overnight, and it's going to be a big week for whether or not we hold those lows in U.S. equities. Um, we'll just stay with the game plan.